Ranging with a reticle is an extremely important skill because your laser rangefinder might not always be as reliable as you need it to be, whether that be for batteries or because of atmospheric conditions such as rain and snow. So if you're interested in this, go ahead and check out the rest of this video. This video is basically an introduction into weaponizing mathematics. There's two equations that you're going to use for milling a target. The first one is for English units, where you use inches for the size of your target, and you mill for the yards to target. The second is for the rest of the world, where the size and target is in centimeters, and you're measuring out to meters to target. The most important thing is to learn your reticle, because everyone is unique. The reticle I'm using is the Gen 2 XR. Whatever reticle you have, look up the charts and diagrams for it, because it's going to give you important dimensions that's going to help you with milling out your targets. The target that we're going to be measuring is 34 inches tall, or just over 86 centimeters. One of the big reasons why I love the Gen 2 XR reticle is that you have a lot of space for milling out, and also it's numbered so that you don't have to count dots. I use the center of the crosshairs as the beginning point. So for this reticle, you have a halfway hash mark and a full mill dot. And on this reticle in particular, the hash marks are 0.2 mils wide and the dots are 0.1 mil wide. To accurately range a target, you need to estimate one tenth of a mil. And this target I would say is 4.1 mils tall. By plugging in the numbers into the equation, we get that the target is 230.3 yards out. And the same thing for the metric equation, 210.7 meters. So in this next example, I'm gonna have you guys pause the video if you need to and make the calculations for yourself. The answer for the second target will be in the description below. So that's how to range with a reticle. If you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and message me directly or you can comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page and all the social media. It really helps you know these are the kind of videos you wanna see. But as always, take care out there. Bye. And you can see that the motion of the water is pretty good. There's no jittering or no weird artifacts.